There remain many issues that call for further cooperation between South Korea and the EU. First, we need active EU cooperation in convincing North Korea to become a member of the international community. In including North Korea to open up and reform, the EU is uniquely positioned to have a more positive influence. This is because North Korea's level of vigilance vis-à-vis -vis the EU is considerably lower than that was the United States, South Korea, or Japan. This is partly due to geographical reasons, <clears throat> but it also stems from mutual confidence that has been accumulated over the, over the years. I hope that the EU and the UK will continue their cooperation with North Korea. Small steps such as providing educational and training opportunities to North Korea, North Korean technocrats and technicians could go a long way. Second, I would like to ask the EU continue to pay keen attention to the North Korean nuclear issue. The EU has consistently called for denuclearization of North Korean Peninsula in order to establish peace on the Korean Peninsula and create a stable security environment in Northeast Asia. I wholeheartedly support the position of the EU that the North Korean nuclear issue should be resolved in a comprehensive and peaceful manner through dialogue and cooperation. I also hope that the EU will maintain this position in the years ahead. The Democratic United Party and I will also actively pursue the resumption of the six-party talks in order to address the North Korean nuclear problems. Finally, I would also call on the EU to play an increasing role in addressing the human rights situation in North Korea. Understanding there are North Korean refugees who have settled here in the UK. I understand, sorry, I understand there are North Korean refugees who have settled here in the UK. There is no question that North Korea should be denounced for starving its own people and perpetuating human rights abuses in order to maintain its dictatorial dynastic rule. But again, I would stress that we cannot solve anything only by isolation and containment. Even though it takes a long time, consistent contact and exchange is, in the end, the best way to deal with North Korea. In doing so, we will make further progress in reducing tension and establishing a peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. Transparency in the distribution of humanitarian aid cannot be achieved in one step. The Democratic United Party believes in detaching humanitarian assistance from the prevailing political circumstances of the day. At the same time, my party will redouble the efforts to assist the settlement of North Korean refugees in South Korea. I have one, only one page. <laughs> <laughs> UK is the cradle of democracy in the world history. South Korea learned from the British example in building its democracy. My prayers go out to those young British men and wo women who fought in the Korean War in order to safeguard South Korea's sprouts of democracy. The seeds of British value that they sowed and now blossoming in South Korea's flourishing democracy today. We now pride ourselves on becoming a model for other Asian countries' democratic tradition. UK and Korea and the UA, EU and Korea 
share key values such as democracy and human rights. We also share painful histories of fighting a war together. UK and the EU have achieved integration across national boundaries and played a key role in ending the Cold War. No doubt, these are more momentous historical milestones. It has been 55 years since the Treaty of Rome was signed, which provided a foundation for the establishment of the EU. Building on European community established in 1967, the EU formed in 1993 to become the world's largest single market, comprising 30% of the entire global GDP today. Now, we seek to learn again from your history-making achievements by building a peace regime that can be supported by all the all allies and neighboring countries of both South and North Korea. We will bring an end to the last Cold War in East Asia. We wish to pave the way towards unification by inducing North Korea to become a part of the international community. At the same time, we will take the initiative to promote cooperation among countries in East Asia. UK and South Korea are currently enjoying ever-expanding cooperation and exchange. The growing, the growing prom prominence of culture in this day and age will only reinforce these trends. Our two countries are building closer ties within the framework of forums like the Asian, Asia European meeting. I have no doubt that our friendship will become more vibrant and strong in the future and that those of you sitting in this room today will definitely make a great contribution to strengthening our bilateral relations. Thank you for your attention and really indeed your endurance. <laughs> We have some time for discussion, and uh, I think we could probably run on to uh, quarter to seven, is that right? Uh, so what I would ask is that you indicate if you'd like to ask a question by raising your hand.